this video comes with a warning. It's going to upset and anger many of you because I'm the first doctor that is producing this groundbreaking medical evidence. This should not upset you. In fact, it should outrage you. According to the American Cancer Society, breast cancer is continuing to rise, even with all the new alternative treatments. Have you ever wondered why is this happening? Flax increases risk of breast cancer and hormone disorders like PMS and symptoms of menopause. Just because everyone has it doesn't make it normal. I told you I was going to drop a bomb and I rarely disappoint. Now flax is what's considered a plant estrogen and what 10 years of my medical evidence is showing in my book and in my blogs and videos and then Dr. Hobbins 50 years of medical evidence because he's the first doctor to produce the medical evidence showing soy increased breast cancer way back in the 80s. In the 80s ladies. Now many studies are showing soy increases breast cancer. Why is this? Because plant estrogens are bioidentical to our own. So when they attach to our receptors, they don't block it, they stimulate it. Yes, it is true they are weaker, but they still stimulate it. In fact, flax is 20 times stronger than soy. So that one teaspoon of flax you're taking every morning and feeding your kid and your husband is affecting all of us. Now I know how shocking this is to hear for the first time. I had to hear it for the first time. And I was upset because I'd been brainwashed. And I kept asking Dr. Hobbins, are you sure, are you sure? And you know what? He challenged me. He said, prove me wrong. I said, fine. But guess what? I proved him right again and again and again because all of you came in using flax and your thermograms were abnormal. Did you ever stop to think, where did the flax craze come from? Guess what? Life is not a coincidence. I was meant to meet the daughter of the man that invented the flax craze. Guess what? He's a veterinarian. And he saw the benefits of flax with his horses. So he decided to take flax and he felt better. So he created a supplement. And when I asked for the evidence proving flax was beneficial to the breast, he did present evidence, but is incorrect. And I walk you through the book, how it is wrong. This is what all of you are basing your breast health on manipulated studies. Some of you are shouting at your computer again, saying, what about the omega-3s? Well, guess what? Flax is not EPA or DHA, which is bioavailable. It is alpha-linic acid. It's actually short and it requires several vitamins that we have to have in our body to convert it, to make it bioavailable to us. So many of you are using it and not even getting the benefit of it. So ladies, Take a moment, review my book, my blogs, and my websites. I've spent 10 years educating you. Let's save the girls starting today.